Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you two busy bags that I've created for my two kiddos. I have a four year old son and a two year old daughter. If you have a child around the same age, I hope this will give you some ideas as to what you can put in your child's busy bag. If you don't know what a busy bag is, basically it's just a little kit that you can take with you whenever you're out and about and need to occupy the kids during a period of time. So for example, this could be used in the car while you're traveling or at a restaurant or even waiting at a doctor's office for your appointment. You could even pull it out on a rainy day when you are stuck for a ideas for more activities to do with the kids because I know how it is as a mom when it's raining outside you can't take the kids out and you've played every board game every puzzle everything in the house this is a kit that you can bring out for those reasons and it will be things that they haven't seen for a while so hopefully they'll get excited when they do see the things inside with all that said let's roll into what I've put in my kids busy bags so I'm going to show you my son's box first. He's four years old. Actually, he's four and a half years old now. Um, but this is his box. It is. It does have like a tinge of blue to it. Um, but I love these little containers because they do have a handle. And I got these little containers from Daiso if you're interested. They were $2.80 each. So really affordable little cases. And they do have little clips on the side to keep everything nice and secure. So let's dig in and have a look what's in his little pack. So like I said, he's four and a half years old. So everything in here is going to be age appropriate for him. And also things that we're working together um, in regards to learning and education. So he is actually in preschool at the moment. Um, so some of, these th some of these things are going to complement what he's already learning in preschool. So the first thing is this wooden shoe um so it's just like a 2d shoe it's not like a real shoe um but it's got these little shoelaces here so um you can use this in different ways he could thread um, the shoelace through the holes um, or when he's ready to he can learn how to tie his shoes as well so this little practice thing um, that he loves to actually play with um, usually he will just thread it through and do like a knot at the end because he can't quite do little like little bows um, as you do shoelace but this is like a little fun activity for him the next thing is is just a pack of abc flashcards. we're always um <clears throat> revising his alphabet and his letters and things like that so this is just another little activity for him to do um to you know make sure he doesn't forget his abcs the next thing is just a little bit of play-doh my kids are obsessed with play-doh um so this definitely keeps them occupied for a long time this is just a small um i think it's the party pack the next thing is let me see so these are a couple of diy things that i actually made myself um and i believe i've got some of these activities off pinterest and i just printed them off and laminated them so the first activity is this one here so this does a couple of things so it obviously um, teaches shapes with all the different shapes here and colors because they are all different colors um, but it also has numbers all around it so these ones only go to five um, my two-year-old actually loves playing with these as well but the reason why i put this in my four-year-old's pack is because i do use these little pegs with them and this can be quite challenging even for his age um, but it will also help him with pencil grip. So these also have little numbers on them. Oops, sorry. So these little pegs also have little numbers on them. If my camera will focus. There we go. So this is obviously a number four. And it does have a peg attached to it. So what I get him to do is choose a shape. Tell me what shape it is. And tell me what number peg he has picked out. And then he has to find the right number on the shape and peg it like that like i said this peg kind of like pencil grip um technique is very hard for kids to grasp especially those that are only just starting to learn how to write um so this will help practice that skill as well as well as you know revising his numbers um and his shapes as well so really cute activity the next thing is also like a little DIY thing that I've uh, made up for him, which I also got from Pinterest. And I just keep it in this little Ziploc bag just to keep them all together. And this is actually going to help him with learning his numbers. 
um, but not only learning them by recognizing them but also learning them by writing them so if you can see these go up to I believe 10 um, but I'll just show you one for an example so we'll do number three so each of these letters have little animals or pictures in the letter or oh, sorry in the number basically this is like a guide to show them where to put their pencil when they are writing these numbers so they start from there they join it up to the next animal and then to the last animal to do the number that they are trying to learn um and so for this reason i have also added just a pack of um, dry erase markers so he can choose any colors he likes and do this for this activity here um, and like I said, he's got all the numbers up to 10. So he can practice as many as he likes. And then you can just wipe away the markers and do it again. So a really good DIY little activity for him to do. The next thing is this little Paw Patrol Magic Ink um, pack. So yeah, this is actually brand new. He hasn't even used this as yet. So um, if you know what a... Um, magic inks are they pretty much you just um you just mark the page and a picture will appear so really cool activity for him to do and he really loves paw patrols so i'm sure he'll love to get started in um using this the next thing is just a little um simple puzzle um so this one only has one two oh this one only has three pieces um, this actually came in a pack with I think four different puzzles and they all have different number of pieces I just put this one in this time, but I will rotate the puzzles um, He's getting really good at puzzles. So this will actually be pretty easy for him But he hasn't looked at this one for a while and it's just something that his sister can also do with him as well So just a little puzzle to add to his pack The next thing is this Corolla alphabet and number pad so this is just something that he can do, again, to keep practicing his numbers and his letters, um, something that he's already doing in preschool. Um, but yeah, he can just continue on with practicing that. And obviously he needs a pack of pencils in order to use this. So I've also packed a pack of pencils for him. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside, it just started to pour down again. Um, and the last thing is just a coloring book because you can't go wrong with a coloring book. This is a dino truck book and he was really obsessed with this show when it came out on ABC Kids but I don't know if they still air this. I haven't seen it for a while but anyways he still has this um, coloring book that he can still use up. A couple of pages have been colored in already but there's plenty of pages that have not. So this is the last thing in his pack and again he can just use his colored pencils for this coloring book. So that was everything in my son's kit and now I'm going to move on to my daughter's kit and like I said she's two years old so obviously everything in here will be age appropriate for her. So let's get this opened. So inside, um, like my son's, she also has a little thing of Play-Doh. She's also very, very obsessed with Play-Doh. So I'm sure this will be something that she'll probably grab first. Um, but yeah, she gets a little thing of Play-Doh as well. And then she is actually learning her shapes and colors at the moment. So she has a little pack of flashcards. But these ones have shapes on them and colors as well. So she loves going through these flashcards and on the back of them they have the actual words of the shapes. So obviously she won't be ready to start reading these as yet but they're there as a reference anyways. Like I said she's learning her shapes so I just um, put in this little wooden puzzle for her. The shapes are in this little baggie here so she just has to find the correct shape to um, put into the puzzle board here. And again, she can practice her colors as well um, because I get her to name the colors as she's putting the shapes in there. She's actually really good at this puzzle. Um, she's getting quite confident in doing it. So maybe she needs like an, um, a challenge from this because she's pretty much mastered it now. The next thing is similar to what Christopher had with the shoelace. Um, it's just this weaving activity, but this one's just a little animal. It's a little bunny, obviously. Um, and you just get this little shoelace and she can just weave through the holes like so um, it's really good hand and eye coordination activity for her and she really loves the picture of this bunny so she loves playing with this 
The next thing is this one, two, three counting book. She's also learning how to count. She can now count up to 10 quite um, fluently, um, but this is good for her to keep practicing and also recognizing her numbers. Um, so this is a flap book as well. So it's super fun for her age. Um, yeah, and it just goes through all the numbers to 10 um, and just super colorful and a fun book for her to enjoy. The next thing is stickers because because she is obsessed with stickers my son is not so fond of them i mean he will play with them if they're there but he doesn't ask for them where she will ask to play with stickers so i added her a pack of stickers and just a little notepad as well so she can stick them on there she also gets a little paddle pop activity um i actually made this myself so i, I just bought these colorful paddle pops um and added on the velcros to the ends like so and she can use this in any way she likes. These paddle pops obviously with the um, Velcros can be joined together like so. And she can actually practice her shapes if she likes. Or she can do any sort of picture with these. It's really good creative activity for her to do. And my son also loves playing with these. So I'm sure they'll both be playing with this together. And the last thing is, is two activity books. The first one is this color sticking book. Because like I said, she loves stickers and she's learning her colors at the moment. So this is a really great book because there's blank pictures on each page. So she has to find the correct picture in the sticker section and stick it on to those blank sections. Um, and again, she's learning her colors as she does this. And she's also learning the names of all these objects and developing her speech even more. Um, so, yeah, that's this book here. And the last book is a Paw Patrol coloring book. She also loves Paw Patrol so, so much. So she gets a coloring book. She's done some of this already. Um, and she just loves this show and loves coloring as well. So she gets a little coloring book also. And of course, with a coloring book, you need to get some pencils. So she's got her own pack of pencils. I just want to show you these pencils because they are very age appropriate. Um, as they are like triangle shaped pencils so it really helps her with forming her fingers around the pencil and learning that correct way to hold a pencil so I love these they're really easy to hold actually very very comfortable and yes yeah, so I just want to show you that um, that little feature of these pencils as well so that's the last thing in her little kit and that is the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed and got some ideas of what you can put in your child's busy bag. I'm constantly switching these up. So if you want to see more of these, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make some more videos showing you what other ideas you can put in these bags. And please feel free to go through my channel and have a look at the other content that I have on my channel. I do lots of hauls, mummy and kid related videos. So if you're interested in that sort of content, please do subscribe down below. Click that red subscribe button. It's free to do so. And I'd love to have you follow me on my YouTube channel. So please do subscribe and thumbs up if you've liked this particular video as well. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.